everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern. Uh, this is a rare opportunity to get Antoinette Beenders when she's not crazy with, with models. We're backstage at the Tibby Show. We have Frank Raziri behind us going crazy. He's in, he's in your shoes. That's right. But you and I were having a conversation about why is Fashion Week important to the salon industry? And you have such a great answer. I want you to share it with the modern audience. Uh, first of all, Maggie, that's a great question. You know, it might sometimes look like, you know, we do a ponytail or whatever, but if you think about hair, hair is the fabric of the body. It's the fashion of the body. So it's important that, you know, hair and body work together. Like, I, I always view this, you know, the whole. And that's why I think, at the end of the day, Fashion Week is about clothes fashion. We are here to promote the, the designer. It's their clothes. So if they don't want to go with the crazy hair that sometimes we like in the hair industry, you know, it's understandable because they want the clothes to speak first and the hair second. It needs to be part of one. And I think as hairdressers in the salon, sometimes we are so focused on the head that, you know, sometimes you might forget a little bit about the rest of the body. And I think that's why editorial, uh, you know, that's really given us that platform of looking at the head, the body, you know. And that's why hair, makeup, when it, same in shoots. If you do hair, makeup, model, styling, all those elements are part of one great image. So you can't just whiz one out. You don't have part of the whole image. Well, I'm going to give that's, that's Yeah, it totally makes sense. And I'm going to give you a huge compliment. Our fashion stylist, Rod Navoa, said, do you know Antoinette? I'm like, of course I know Antoinette. And he goes, I've never met a hairdresser like her who really thinks from head to toe, you think about the nails, and that you really get fashion. How do you suggest to the modern audience that they not necessarily become a, an Antoinette, but do you read magazines? Do you read, do you read modern? Do you, uh, how do you, I don't like the word inspiration, but how do you make that happen? Well, I think there's two, I've got two answers to that. I think um, fashion is everywhere around you, and especially now with the internet and Instagram and all that stuff, it's everywhere around you. But I think start in the salon. When the client comes in, don't plonk a cape on her straight away. Get her to stand up in front of your mirror and look at that person from head to toe, because we are here to advise them on their hair, but I think also we sometimes we can advise them on the rest. And I think if you understand fashion and you understand what flatters the hair, you understand what flatters the body, I think then you have more of a package because to me it's never just been about the head because the head is connected to the rest of us you know uh, so crazy week for you how many shows are you doing you know I'm only actually doing one um, but I'm here with the rest of the team because we have this we build this amazing fashion team now and we'd like to give our network the opportunity to delete shows so I'm here to support them and also you know with social media crazy I'm there as the hairdresser kind of snapping away kind of really for our team and for our network so uh, they get to see every angle of fashion week okay, last question we get beaten up when we do something like a ponytail or long loose curls or a simple chignon yeah. how do you respond to that you know, why is that important you know that I think we, we need to understand as public out there that the hairdresser doesn't always have the final choice of hairstyle At the end of the day it's the designer shows and they insist on what they want so, you know, I know for myself, I can go in a test. I spent three hours on a test yesterday. I tried every cool hairstyle in the world, but we ended up with simple waves because that's what they want. And I can't say to designer, hey, you need to have this cool braid because it's their show. If it's my show, the Antoinette show, Antoinette's going to have a cool braid and I'll tell the designer what to give me for clothes. But you know, in Fashion Week, it's not a hair show. It's a fashion clothes show. And, and again, you know, it's part one fifth is part of the look. And in this case, Frank is at least making it more interesting by my, it's a ponytail, yes, yeah. but he's using fabric. But you know what? There's a ponytail and there's a ponytail. Like what Frank is doing here, he's doing a beautiful couture ponytail. You know, we can all bang a ponytail on the back of someone's head, but to do it really well, there's actually an art to it. Oh, I love that. Well, well, next stop is Frank, and I got to tell you something funny. I got to tell him this: the best ponytail I've ever had in my life was a Frank Raziri ponytail. He got in there, and I said, "Frank, will you do it?" I didn't realize, and you know, it was like a half an hour later, and I had this great ponytail. But thank you, Antoinette. Pleasure. It's so great to see you, and I'll see you to, tomorrow, Monday, whenever you're doing your show. All right, then. Lovely to see you. Take care. Bye.